Hi guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics and I was experimenting with a aerial um, free energy device. It is a series of uh, ceramic capacitors, germanium diodes, electrolytic capacitors, an antenna, and a ground wire, which I have stuck in a nail outside here in the ground. And in theory, this will generate free energy from the air, whether that be radio waves or um, radiant energy, static electricity, whatever, um, whatever the source, it doesn't matter. The point being, you can take a few simple electronics components and in theory, generate electricity. But it's only 0 0.08 volts very pitiful eight one hundredths of a volt now here's something really interesting that I discovered when I was setting this up the voltage was climbing rapidly so I will take my wire which I have sitting here in a spool up in the air and I will show you something very interesting actually I'll do it right now you watch that meter all right I'm gonna grab this wire in my hand and I'm doing nothing else but holding this wire. The voltage goes up rapidly and continues to climb with me simply holding the coil of wire in my hand. So it looks like I am a free energy device. This will continue to rise. I've not held it for more than a volt. There's or two volts. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, this will continue to rise in voltage for a while. It doesn't matter where my hand is or where I'm standing. As long as I'm holding the spool of wire in my hand, the voltage is rising. Not sure where the energy is coming from. If it's just electrical impulses from me being filtered out by the capacitors and uh, rectified by the diodes but it is building up a charge inside the capacitors there's half a volt um, if I remove the ground wire which is going to be hard for me to do with holding this then the uh, this doesn't work so I'm a free energy generator as long as there's a ground wire to the circuit and I am holding the wire in my hand. I will roll this up and show you, uh, be back in a minute here. I'm gonna pause the camera, roll this up and show you that there's nothing, no secrets, nothing hidden here. Now, I'm holding a wire in my hand. You can see the wire hanging here in the air. And you can see the voltage. I hope you can see that very well. If I'm standing up straight, right now I'm bending down some, that voltage rises very rapidly. 1.43, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1.5 volts. Rises very rapidly if I'm standing up with my arm just sitting here. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me absorbing radio waves and it's transferring that energy into the circuit or if it's static or cosmic energy I have no idea or it could be my own electricity pulsing in through the wire and going on in through the circuit but either way you can see the voltage rising nicely Oops! as I bent down it slowed down I'll stand up I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but as I stand up fully extended, the voltage increases faster and stronger. It's interesting. My guess is it'll probably go as high as the capacitor voltage, uh, because I'm sort of isolated with the diodes, I'm isolated from the capacitors. So I'm guessing it'll probably go up as high as the voltage of the capacitor, if I had the time to stand here all day and do this. Now bending back down it's going to reduce the amount of voltage see it's dropping all I've done is bent down so I'm definitely making a difference now if I remove the ground actually if I touch the ground what happens I've touched the ground it's going to reduce greatly 
Now remove the ground wire and basically now it's going to just drop in voltage because there's nothing coming into the system and all we're doing right now is draining the capacitors. That's what you're seeing is capacitor discharge and that'll go on down to zero. Connect the ground back up, the earth ground, if I can get it in my hands, and that voltage will start to come back up again. Oh, there's an ant on me. If I stand up, it'll start rising again. Now just to show you for comparison, I'm going to disconnect the earth ground and stand up. And I don't think that it'll rise. It's going to drop in voltage. Yeah, it's dropping. It has to be grounded. The circuit has to have an earth ground in order to work. So I'll reconnect that. It's awkward. It's twisted on me. And then the voltage will go up again. So it's simply me holding a spool of wire. This is single strand insulated wire. Uh, probably about 20 gauge or something like that. And uh, a nail in the ground with a wire running to the circuit which I'll show you on the do-it-yourself world article site so check out the link below and I'll give you all the details of the circuit and uh, watch out for future experiments as I try to harness energy from the air around us with the circuit and variations of it so talk to you guys later Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics Another interesting experience with free energy.